You may have noticed if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram that Isaac, aka Knoopsy, and I have been hanging out quite a bit lately. We even did a photo walk meetup recently in Toronto. I've always been a huge fan of his work and it's been a blast collaborating with him. So when Apple announced the new iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, we had an idea. What if we shot a full-blown professional production entirely on the new iPhone? We spent the day in Toronto exploring and drinking coffee for a tour of some of Isaac's favorite spots in the city, all in the name of putting the iPhone 11 Pro to the test in a variety of lighting, sound, and setup conditions to see if this new iPhone really deserves the Pro name. Let me just say, I think it does, but let's talk about why. I want to make sure we didn't just rig the heck out of this thing and not test its capabilities on its own. Something that bothers me quite a bit about Apple's example iPhone productions is that they always use third-party accessories and large crews, stuff that most of us don't always have access to. So for the most part, we just shot handheld without a case or anything special. In fact, all of the B-roll we shot was handheld. The only time I rigged the phone up was for the A-roll, and for this, we used the DJI Osmo 3 gimbal and the Dady D3 Pro for audio. Isaac did these talking head portions, introducing his favorite coffee shop, so I wanted to make sure the audio was extra crispy. Now, if you're in a pinch, the built-in mic is actually pretty damn good. Take a listen to this clip from Cody Wanner's video on making cinematic iPhone content. Say, like, this is stock camera app, just wide angle lens on the iPhone 11. Absolutely insane. Nice spot, great overall vibe, great food, great drinks, just a super chill atmosphere. I think what blew me away first, much like most people that have tried the new phones, is the ultra wide. Because it's so wide and because iOS is doing digital image stabilization, it looks like it's on a gimbal. Check out this completely handheld walking shot of Isaac in the city. Now, aside from the fun possibilities with the wide, which is on the normal 11 as well, the tele, which is only offered on the Pro, is where stuff gets really interesting. This is where I think the gap between real cameras and smartphones is finally blurring. The added lens compression of the telephoto focal link, combined with the new sensor shift stabilization, makes this lens my favorite video setup on an iPhone today. When it comes to apps, we made a conscious decision to shoot this entire video using the iOS 13 default camera. Honestly, it's my favorite app to shoot video with because it's simple and easy to access from the lock screen. But more importantly, we didn't want anyone to feel like you need fancy apps like Filmic Pro to make great content. You just need what's in your pocket already. The only thing that drove me nuts all day was having to switch between 4K24 for the A-roll and 4K60 for the B-roll. And this can only be done by diving into system settings. I really hope they change this soon in a future iOS update. You've heard this already from a lot of people, but truly, this is the best video camera I've ever used in a smartphone. And I think we're at the point now where this can be your only camera. If you're serious about video, I recommend grabbing the 11 Pro for the tele lens. It's gonna let you capture nicer detail sequences and also up your production quality with the lens compression. But the regular 11 is an insanely capable machine and given its low price point, I have nothing bad to say about it. Aside from the image quality, a major benefit to shooting with your phone is that it's so small and discreet. We never once got asked to stop filming because it just looked like we were playing with our phones. This makes the iPhone, in my opinion, one of the best running gun cameras I've ever used. I guess the elephant in the room is, will I be keeping my iPhone 10 or upgrading to an 11 Pro? Thanks so much for watching and thank you again to Knoopsy for letting us play with the new iPhones. Definitely check out the full video on his channel. All the links are in the description. We're so happy with how it turned out. I also want to thank Oscar Lau for being our B-roll extraordinaire. Make sure you hit the links in the description for Isaac and Oscar's work. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the new iPhones and you'll hear me next time I feel like making a video. And don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.